The amazing thing about this verse is the consistent, reliable, dependable response of our holy God. He goes above and beyond. He does not merely forgive, but he forgives and cleanses us from all unrighteousness. Do you see how both are included? Forgives us our sin. Cleanses us from all unrighteousness. Forgiveness means he takes away the guilt. We're not guilty anymore. He wipes that away. Cleansing means we're not defiled anymore. We can come into his presence now. We can have fellowship with him. He has taken away the defilement. He forgives us. He takes away our guilt. He takes away our uncleanness. And note that he always does this for those who come to him in the blood of Jesus Christ. He is faithful and righteous to forgive our sins. That word righteous means that it is right for God to forgive us. I mean, when we think about forgiveness, don't we often think about how that is, it is merciful of God to forgive us. And it is. But do we realize it is not just merciful of God to, for, to forgive us our sins. It is righteous for him to forgive us our sins because of what Christ accomplished on our behalf. And God always does what is right, doesn't he? Which means that he will always faithfully forgive our sins when we come to him and we humble ourselves before him and we confess our sins. We can count on that. I remember when I was many years ago discipling a young man and he was young in his faith and he asked me, Pastor, do you ever get nervous coming to God after you've sinned? Do you ever feel like you just want to delay, like you, you, you can't come and pray right away. And it was kind of like the, the kid who knows his mom's really upset because she caught him doing something wrong. And he's going to ask her to forgive him, but he's going to give her a few minutes to cool off first. <laughs> he doesn't want to lecture or not, get in trouble again or have to rehash the whole thing. So he lets mom blow off some steam. I said, no, no. First John 1 John 1.9 tells me that when I come to God and I confess my sins, he always instantly, every single time, forgives me and cleanses me. There is no reason ever to delay running to the throne of grace for mercy in our time of need. And that raises the question for us, why do we deny our sin then? Why do we hide our sin? Why do we blame others for our sin? Why do we want to redefine or relabel our sin? Isn't it foolish of us to try to hide sin in the dark from a God who is light? His light is going to expose it all anyways. Why not bring it yourself so that you could be forgiven? So that you can receive his mercy and his grace. Look at Proverbs 28, verse 13. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 13. He who conceals his transgressions will not prosper, but he who confesses and forsakes them will find compassion. When you decide that your sin isn't your fault or your sin isn't sin or I just don't care about my sin, you won't prosper. You're going to get worse and worse and worse. You're going to go down, down, down. But if you bring your sin out, you call it what it is, you confess it before the Lord, you will receive compassion from God. You will be forgiven. You will be cleansed. From that sin. You will be set free from your sin. It's a beautiful promise of God. I, there may not be a more comforting verse in all of Holy Scripture for sinners than 1 John 1 9, because it assures pardon for every sin. You see how he repeats the word all again at the end of verse 9? From all unrighteousness. In verse 7, he cleanses us from all sin. And in verse 9, he, he cleanses us from all unrighteousness.